Right, good day, guys. Okay, if you if you're watching this now, you're about to watch my smoking video. Right, before you do, I just want to show you this smoker because I never I never mentioned it on the on the video what you're about to watch. Right, these smokers a lot of people have got, or if you're a beginner, you might want to start off with one like this. They work pretty good. Right, very quickly, you buy it, you take the lid off. Inside, you've got two grills. Excuse the state of this, it looks a bit rusty, but it still works fine. Right, you take this out, you've got this is your base. This is the base bit. You've got these little things in there, you've got three of, see? They sit in there like a poached egg. Right? Right, in there you fill, you put maybe half full with methylated spirits. Right, you've got all them sitting in there. Right, so you light all them. They're all alight, the meths going, oh, it's lit because you can't see the flame on methylated spirits really good. You got these little cups for when you finish, you can <coughs> put on the top to put the flame out. Easy. We don't want them yet. So they, they, you don't need them at the moment. Right, you got them in there, they're all burning, right? Then you get this, the container it was in, and that goes on top of the burning flames. Then you get this, and that goes in there, and you put your wood chips, put your wood chips on there, just on here nicely, what flavour you want to use. I actually love apple. Apple flavoured wood chips is good. Radio, and then you get your wrap, first one, that sits in there, on the top of there, you can put fish on there, make sure you spray it with some canola oil spray, so your fillet doesn't stick. Then you got your other rack, you can put fillet on there, spray it. Put, put it on first, then spray it, and then put your fish on there as well. Well, you don't spray it because you've got fish on underneath. <laughs> okay, so that's all done. Then you put your lid on. You've got a vent, a little vent here. Open and close. Don't have it open much at all. Right, so that'll be smoking up really good. Fish is in there. It gets hot. It hot smokes pretty quick. Your fish in here might be done in 10 minutes, 15. But like I say, keep an eye on it doesn't just take it off once it goes that nice color what you want it's done eat it yummy good for a quick cook if you want a bit of fish for dinner okay sit back and watch the rest of my video hope you enjoy it and I hope you learn some tips if you're a beginner radio guys see ya enjoy right, okay there's Three ways you can pretty much do the smoking. Obviously, one is to take the fillets off, nice little fillets. Another way is you can, like, slice up under there, slice up the belly. Take them few guts out like this. Then your bag. Okay. All right. Leave the head on. Just slice through them ribs. And just split it like that. That can go straight in the brine like that. So I'll leave that one like that and show you how that turns out. Okay, a split one. Or you can do them whole. So what we want to do here is like, you can just slice up the belly. Don't worry about the guts. Take the head off, but slice into the neck there so you don't waste too much meat. And then just 
just go through the backbone don't go all the way because then just pull the head back and all the guts come out with the head see all gone just got to break that little bit off there there you go you got your head wow that might be alright snapper bait but damn good burly he can go in the bag that there so I wouldn't be too fussed in there because you're not going to eat anything on the other side of them ribs but it's good to just give it a little slice on the back just like that not much helps the brine get in there but that will smoke fine too so I'll put him there so I might do I'll probably no my I'm under orders we prefer eating them fillets because you can just go <laughs> <laughs> and just just eat it you peel the skin off you can eat the skin if you like protein or you can peel it off whatever you like okay guys I've finished filleting these fish finally what a job there's some beautiful Australian Tommy Ruffs or herring fillet here that'll smoke up wonderful anyway right what I do I got three bowls of water here, fresh water. There's two liters of water in each bowl. So what I'm going to add to each each bowl is just over half a cup of salt. This is Saxon cooking salt. It's actually sea salt, but crushed up. Um, they recommend to use non-iodine salt for smoking. This has got a very low iodine count in it so but our bodies actually need iodine we don't produce iodine so it's actually good for us just a little bit but that's not that's very low in iodine so anyway half a cup half a cup of this in each one and just over a half a cup You gotta be so careful, you don't want to put too much salt because it just ruins it. It's horrible. Oh, a bit more in the bag there. Here, yeah, work on just half a cup. Don't go over. Alright, so. There's half a cup of salt per two litres of water in each bowl. Now we put that aside. Now we want a half a cup of brown sugar. Doesn't matter what type of brown sugar. This is that real, like soft brown sugar. Um, home, brand sh brown, home brand brown sugar is fine. So yeah, we want half a cup of that in each bowl. Tell you what, I'm starting to salivate already because this is going to be delicious. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Yum. Oh, that's a bit over. Come back in there. Stir that up a bit. Yum. Took a little while to fill it all that fish. Well, the hard job is done. Well, not the hard job, the tedious job is done. Okay, so. So that now I'm going to put equal amount to this fish per bowl. I'll move this. Well, this is this is what I saved for me and the missus to have fish butties. That's not going to be smoked. Let's put. 
put that there. Right, the newspapers, the newspapers here that's for any overflow, you know, because that water level is going to rise. There's my whole one, what I just sliced. You can do it like that. Drop it in there. I even did a few butterfly as well. Nice butterfly fillets, they're all in one piece. Just drop that in there. And that's a whole one, not split, but just sliced in the top. Just to help the brine get in. Brine gets in there as well. Okay. And the rest are just like that. That's how we prefer them. They don't, they're actually better to lie on the smoke rack, the smoking rack in single fillets. It's okay, I'll evenly distribute these between all these bowls of brining solution. Okay, so they're in, so now I'm just going to give them a bit of a stir. Just get all that mixed thoroughly between all them fillets. Yeah, that's why the newspaper's there, for the mess. There you go. Now that's going to stay in the mix for approximately two to three hours. So I'll leave it in there for two and a half hours. That will be fine. If they were bigger fish, a little bit longer. But that works for me. Okay. So I'll see you back here in two and a half hours. Okay, the fish is all brined. It's been here in here for well nearly three hours. So that will be long enough. So what I gotta do now is take it all out and lie it on these racks what have come out my fridge over there. I'm lucky I've got a fridge over there what I can use for my for my brined fish. So what I've got to do is put it all on these racks and then put it all in that fridge and leave it there overnight to dry. Okay, so there we go. Job done. They're looking good in there. So, tomorrow when they're dry, they'll come out of there and I can put chili on them or whatever I like. G'day guys, finally we're up to the good bit, the smoking bit. Okay, there's the smokers what I'm going to be using. I used to just have this one here, that's been used as you can see. There's all the bits for that. My neighbour, my next door neighbour gave me this one, so I've got two of them. Beauty. Two means I can smoke more fish. <clears throat> I used to use a Weber. This is a Weber I used to use for smoking all the time, before I got them. So, simply I did it the same, same technique. I put heat beads in here, and when the heat beads are burnt in properly, you'd put the wet, the damp wood chips on the top, whatever wood chips you use, red gum, hickory, oak, Oh, whatever's out there, there's so many wood chips you can use, but that was red gum and and then to stop the initial heat, to try and slow down the heat, I would put that on top and then, you know, my fish fillet would be on, on the grid I'd just put my fish fillet on this side not on top of there, just on this side lid on and away you go, you've just got to keep your eye on the smoke situation every now and then you might have to take that off and put a bit more damp wood in there just keep it going but it doesn't take long anyway I'm going to put my jiffy fire lighters in there heat beads on top 
um, and light it up. Okay, there's my fire lighters in there. That should be enough. Remember, you've got to have enough fire lighters to, you know, get your heat beads going. Okay, there's my heat beads in there. And both of them. I've also got these snips, so, you know, some heat beads will get going quicker than others, so you can rotate them around with these. Too easy, so now that's done. I'll light her up. Okay. Fire light is lit. It's happening. So now I'll let them burn in. And while that's happening, I'll go get me smoking wood together and I'll put my fish on the racks. Okay. There's all my wood chips. And a spider. I'll get him out. Yeah, so what I'll do now, put some water in there. And I'll let that soak in the water. You can leave this all night to soak, but you've got you've to do this no matter how long. Just gives you time to get the lid on the smoker before it bursts into flame. Okay, I've got my racks here. So what I do now, you need to spray them with some spray just stops the fish sticking on there just like cooking beauty Now it's just a matter of putting it all on here. <laughs> Yummy! Okay, all on the racks. So now what I'm going to do is on one of them racks I'm going to put some chili and some garlic. I mean, it doesn't hurt to play around. You can do that, play around with your own flavors, but I do like a bit of chili on some of it, and a little bit of garlic. So let's do that. Radio. So I think I'll put some chili flakes on this one. Just sprinkle it on there. bit of zing Yummo. um oh, a little bit on here too you can tell the ones with chili guess that'll be enough of that a little bit of garlic God, <laughs> that's a bit much. That's going to be extra garlicky. Not too much. That'll do that. Okay. That's going to be so garlicky. Don't want to talk to anyone after eating that one. Rightio, uh, the rest can stay all natural because it's still yummy like that, so... Right, I'll just take it round to the smoker. Move the heat beads around. I don't like doing this because it's hot. Yo. Oh, nearly there. Nearly there. Gotta be careful. Hot. Hot, hot. Yes. Oh, they're looking good. Looking good. Awesome. We'll be cooking soon. All right, they're looking pretty good. They've, they haven't got much to go. So what I'm going to do is just drain the water out of there. That 
it's had long enough. That'll do. Okay. Put all that bugs and pre-wet. Now it's a matter of putting this in there. So I'll do that in a second and she'll start smoking. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna put the wood in here first. Gotta do all this real quick. Alright. That's why we soak the wood first. Nice smoke happening. Right now, and with this bowl of water. Okay. Then, okay, that is level one. Let me put this level on. That's on properly. Next level will be the chilly one. Check it on properly. Lovely, okay. So we'll qu quickly do this one. There's the heat beads. Oops. Just put some wood on top. Oh, bit of a bit of a hack job there. <laughs> but she'll be right. She'll be right. Famous last words. Now you can see why we dampen the wood. Right here. Let's get some fish in there. In with the water bowl. These water bowls are terrific. If you can imagine the water evaporating and keeping your fish juicy. Oh, let's put that on a bit better. Here you go. Right, there's one layer. We'll put this on. the lid. Close up the vent. You really don't need that vent open much at all. If you open it too much it will burn too quick. And there you have it. All that work. Okay, well you can see it, they're still smoking, but it has slowed down a bit. So what I'm going to do is check the wood in the bottom and put a bit more in there probably. Because I want it. It's really smoking. More wood.
they're smoking a little bit better again now. That's good. That's what I like to see. Well, there you go, guys. I've just had a look. They look all right. They will be fine. These ones in here are a little bit lighter than the ones in here. But I'm not going to take them anymore. They will be yummy. So I'm going to take them out. Go put them in my shed. And then put them into the fridge. Awesome. Oh, mate. Can't wait to try one of them. Well, guys, there you have it. The finished product. That looks absolutely delicious yummy this one's here is a little bit paler that was on the bottom shelf but that'll be okay love the color of this one well I love the color of the other three they look yummy I'll tell you what I'll do for you I'll tell you what it tastes like I'm sorry but I have to firstly cheers job complete Oh. Let's see what this is like. This is the beauty of filleting it. I shall. Yum. Now. That amount of salt and sugar in that two litres of water al dente get off fly <laughs> you're not having any oh that's lovely that's lovely I wouldn't have wanted to leave it in any longer or it would have dried out if you leave it in too long it will go like cardboard and you don't want that That's very good. Mm. Now, look at that. Is a chili on there? I'm gonna have to try that as well. Yummy. Oh, that's dingy. That chili's a lot, that chili. My dog's called Tilly. That chili is called, is lovely. Do you want a piece, Tilly? Dogs love smoked fish too. So, my mate, she gets some too. Yum. You enjoy that. And she will. Mm. Yum. Good stuff, eh, girl? That is beautiful. Okay. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Ooh. That, <laughs> that chili's made me sweat. <laughs> thanks for watching. Hope that's been helpful to you. Um, it's been helpful to me because it tastes damn good so yeah happy smoking and I'll see you again doing something alright see you guys tight lines bye